Indian government blocks blasphemous art website. In mid-November 2021, it was discovered by Atheist Republic's legal counsel in India that our site, blasphemousart.com, has been blocked by the Ministry of Electronics and Information, or uh, the abbreviation is like MITI, me, me, I, I'm just going to say MITI, okay, in India. This is the latest attempt from the government of India to completely cut off Indian non-believers access to Atheist Republic, the largest community of atheists in the world. To ascertain which specific internet service providers have blocked this website, Atheist Republic has distributed a survey to all of our consulates or local meetup groups in India. Initial results reveal that the website is blocked for some users in Delhi, Kerala, West Bengal, and two other states. This recent blocking of our backup website, blasphemousart.com, reiterates the importance of subscribing to Atheist Republic's newsletter, which can never be blocked by a government or banned by a social media company. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to our newsletter at atheistrepublic.com slash newsletter. Well, they can't access it from India. So um, because atheistrepublic.com has also been blocked in India by some ISPs, or by the major ones. So... Um, I'm going to keep making sure that they keep chasing us, okay? Because we made the Blasphemous Art because uh, BlasphemousArts.com website. By the way, you can still access it using a VPN if you don't know that, right? Um, or if you change your IP with any tools to somewhere outside of India. So we wanted to make sure that people, uh, because our Facebook page got uh, the government blocked that in, in, in India, right? Our Twitter accounts, both my personal accounts, Susanna's Twitter account, um, and our Atheist Republic Twitter account got suspended because of Hindu uh, mass reporting them. Um, then they came after our website. So our website, atheistrepublic.com, got blocked in India. So we made a new website called blasphemousart.com uh, so that people could at least get our art in India that way um, and also to subscribe to our newsletter. Um, and now they blocked blasphemousart.com. Um, so that's where actually you, one of the places you could go to the good subs, uh, subscribe to our newsletter, right? So I'm gonna now create a new link for you to be able to subscribe to our newsletter. And I'll make sure that in future videos, I'll include that in the, um, in the, in the video, uh, in the description. So once I have a new URL, set up for people to be able to subscribe to our newsletter because if you don't know if you are on our newsletter you get at least one art you get the news but you also get at least one art um every week uh, for free you're welcome okay and i want to make sure that no matter where they block us you will never lose access to us because you will get that in your inbox there's like no government that could come and stop that okay um because it's an it's a newsletter um, but we do need a, we always need a URL where people could go subscribe to it. Like, by the way, if you're outside of India, you, you still have access to blasphemousart.com. Like you could go to blasphemousart.com, subscribe to the newsletter, um, and get all our art that way. Uh, but for, but we, we're not going to lose our access to India. Like no matter what they do, I want to, I want them to keep chasing us. Okay. So I'll make a new URL. Uh, let's see what they do with that, okay? And then once they go we'll go after that, I'll make another year. By the way, you guys realize that they're just giving us an opportunity to keep telling people to come get our blasphemous art on our newsletter, right? Like they think like they are stopping us, but this is just an excuse for us to tell you that an entire government is after the tiny Atheist Republic uh, team to stop us from giving you art of hindu gods and goddesses right like that's that's what they're by the way if you're an indian taxpayer i hope you're offended by this given how many um, the, all the problems that india is dealing with i hope that you are extremely offended that your tax money is being used by the bjp to go come after me and Sue's and the rest of the atheist republic team so that we can't give you blasphemous art of Hindu gods and goddesses. And that's what they're spending money, your money on. You have to be upset if you're Indian. Like, why, are, why is my government doing this? How is this, in, mm -hmm. how is this important? Guys, and if you think this is not a big priority, okay, they have had filed 
a lot of police reports against us. We have been brought up all the way to the Supreme Court of India and recently to another high court in India. This is a major issue. Me and Susie are a major issue because we're giving you drawings of their gods and goddesses. This is like, they, they, are, they need to stop us, okay? And we're going against the world's largest political party, which is the BJP. And if they can't stop us, that's amazing. But go ahead, Susanna. It's so funny because I know for a fact that the Ministry of Electronics and Information, they know who we are. Yeah. Like, this is confirmed. And um, what you can help us with, you, if you want to know why, what, what, it, what it is that is so scandalous that you, they, 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 they will not let you see, you should consider becoming a patron, supporting us on Patreon. Link is in the description. You can support us for as little as $1 a month. And not only do you get the sexiest, sexiest blasphemous art um, at least every week, but you also get a uh, priority when we do our Q and A's and um, you get to engage with our community over there. Um, but also, I would like to say this is another reason why it is so helpful if you guys would help us with our legal expenses. So we previously set up these expenses because of, well, just Armin gave you a preview of some of the stuff we've been dealing with, right? But this is new. And so they continue, they're continuing to keep hitting us with all of these different issues. And our legal expenses are going to increase. I meet with my lawyers about these things frequently. And um, we are going to be investigating and um, filing all the paperwork necessary to find more information about this latest block. Um, so please, if you are feeling so generous, it'd be very, very much appreciated if you could go help us support uh, with our legal expenses. Uh, link is in the description for this GoFundMe. Um, and um, they just don't stop. It just it just continues to amaze me. Like it's been over a year and they just yeah. keep coming. And I, um, I can't, uh, my lawyers have said that I am not, allowed to say why but we did know that this was coming um they yes i i knew that the block was impending if you guys go back and watch some of my uh stuff talking about this because it's so constant um and also if you are in um in India and a member of our consulates, if you go to the announcement in your local consulate, you will see that I have provided a link to the survey because I'm trying to find as much information as possible about where um, where we are blocked and what um, ISPs, etc. So if you could please go complete that survey, if you are in India, um, go find it in your local consulate. It would be very much appreciated because that really helps us figure out um, what um, sort of companies and uh, et cetera that we need to go address legally about this. We need to know who's blocking us before we can um, go fight the block, right? So please go complete that survey. Yes, um, thank you. And who, to all the people that who have already supported us on the GoFundMe for, for our legal expenses, you have no idea how much you helped us. Like the, our lawyers, make every single dollar count like they have done so much with very little the very little the money that we have they have been very very helpful to us and uh, Susanna is like constantly working with them and she's in touch with them and she's spending a lot of time on this so thank you for that Susanna um it, Susanna I know you you are tired of me talking about blockchain but can I also mention use this as a way to tell people about our new social media yeah. outlet okay okay because this is like Atheist Republic is on peaked, or I don't know how you pronounce this. Peak D or peaked? peaked. It's P E peaked. P E A K D is a social media platform that is on the blockchain, on the Hive blockchain, um, and that means that it's uncensorable. Like not like even the people who made this um, social media, even they cannot remove it because it's on the blockchain. Like. Um, it's something that even gods can remove, okay? Um, and the good thing about this social media outlet is that you get paid just for engaging, okay? 
So you can see like we make posts like here and we're getting paid in cryptocurrency just by posting. And if you guys go on this social media account um, outlet and make an account and you engage with Atheist Republic here, I will make sure to upvote your comments. Um, and by me upvoting your comments with Atheist Republic, that means you're going to get cryptocurrency, which you could go sell then for money. Okay. So if you want to engage with Atheist Republic and get paid for it with cryptocurrency, with actual money that you could sell for US dollars or anything else or other cryptocurrencies. Again, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial expert. I'm just telling you to go engage with us on Peak, uh, peak D. And I will make sure to offer your comments so you get paid for engaging with us. Okay. So this is like a, a good way to get involved um, in the crypto world and make money from it. Um, you know, like on Facebook and Twitter, you don't get paid for make commenting on a post. Here you do. So you might as well try it. Okay. And it's easier to get paid for it with the guarantee that you know Atheist Republic is going to give you upvotes, okay? And also, by the way, on this platform, when you upvote somebody, they're making money from your upvotes, but they're not making, but you're not paying for it. You know what I mean? Like there's a pool of funds of rewards that is not from you, that people who get upwards, that rewards goes to the people who are getting upwards. So basically you're giving money by upvoting somebody, you're giving them money, but not out of your own pocket. You're giving your money out of this pool of rewards that, and and if they upvote you back, you're getting money. Okay, so this is fantastic. Like, they tr like we have made so much here without actually being a big platform, right? Like this is we have only three hundred followers. Like no, other social media don't treat their users this well, like Facebook and Twitter, right? Uh, and it's it's completely they actively free make their platforms worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like how. You know, they value you here. The community is amazing um, and it's uncensorable. It's, li it's literally uncensorable, right? Um, with, you know, it's, you know, so yeah, go try it and let us know. I am, I'm hoping we could see at least a few people on Peak D to engage with Atheist Republic. Okay? I'm, I make sure to like respond to your comments and talk to you there. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.